just an added bonus to the video i'm going to show you how i um i'm going to take this apart and show you how i did this pen along uh with all the other steps to make it match the tumbler that we're doing but i wanted to add a little something in here i actually purchased um some of the a package of the colored pens so i um thought that it would be kind of neat to have the tips be the same colors okay so what i was going to do is add in the green ink that's in here and i also bought some refill pens i bought black and blue and i would just ask what the client wanted um, as far as black or blue um, to add in so they could even add in the green or they could add in the blue or black pen um, but it would but it would have this that would match the color of the glitter or color of the um you know whatever you're whatever you're doing the theme of what you're doing right so i thought that would be kind of cool to kind of add that in but i'm going to show you i'm just going to speed through that um because there's a lot of videos out there right now but i just wanted to show you my process i wanted to show you what i thought um i wanted to show you how i attached them to the turner and stuff like that so maybe it helps you maybe it's something you don't have to go and buy you have something in your craft room that you use. So um, this is going to be, I'm going to be using this double-sided tape to mimic the rainbow that we're doing on the pen. And um, we'll just go from there and we'll just kind of show the process and um, add this in as a little bonus. So, okay, next step. <music> Stuff that I got at Hobby Lobby um, just the green color doesn't really matter and then I got this chalk paint chalk paint is really awesome because it gives you that really matte finish and it dries super thick and fast and all that so whenever I can if I have I do have some chalk paint that I use so this really works out so what I'm gonna do is this side here is where the um, you know screw the top of the pen would be so we need to decide um i want to not decide i'm i have decided <laughs> that the tip is going to be green so i want this to be my green area and this to be my white area with the rainbow that we're going to kind of wrap around so that's what i that's why i really liked the the tips being a different color i thought that was kind of cool because it would just it wouldn't look so 
blazing with the black. So that's kind of why I decided to get some of the colored pens. So anyways, I'm going to paint it, paint this green a little bit on the bottom and then paint this white and then we'll go to the next step. seen um i did a quick little glimpse of um what i do as far as spray painting and sanding and spray painting and that kind of thing so i just did a flat white um i did the green color i showed it in the video um i did go a little heavy on here and i kind of got a little bit of a um a drip but what I did really quick was I put it in front of my heater real quick and I rolled it around in my hand kind of like this, but they, they spray paints dry pretty fast. But if something like this happens, I kind of hold it upside down and then, you know, just to kind of let it dry a little bit so it doesn't drip down. But then I put it straight in front of a heater. If you don't have a little space heater, like in your garage or in your room or something, craft room, wherever you work, I would definitely invest in doing something like that. It has really changed how fast you can dry something or how fast I can dry. So I just have a heater uh, on a desk in my garage and I just set it in front of there. And then I just go out there periodically and turn it. And so anyways, um, this is our theme here. We're going to do a, um, it's going to kind of be a St. Patrick's day ish type of look, but, um, we're not going to make it so, much St. Patrick's Day that you can't use it throughout the year. So my theme was, um, this is a mix that I designed with, um, the help of Becky at the Glitter Ranch. It's called Lucky. And this has money and 24 karat gold, uh, 24 karat chunky in there. And so, um, this is going to look kind of like um, I wanted to have a green base because I wanted it to have more of a green look because I wanted it to be where we're going to put the rainbow going down into the grass. The grass is going to have that gold in it. So like basically the theme is chase your rainbow, find your pot of gold type of thing. So the bottom of it is going to have this all over it, but I wanted it to have that deep kind of green base because I didn't want the gold to kind of overtake. So that's what that is. And then we're going to be using double-sided tape. Um, I can't decide whether or not I'm going to use this one or the thinner one, but that's, we'll get to that point. Um, this one is for the pen. I have, um, painted the pen. Um, I may or may not show what I did, how I prepared the pen. I kind of, the video was just not, um, I was kind of all over the place. So I was, so if I add a little bit in there, then you've seen it. If not, then, um, there's a lot of, uh, there's plenty of tutorials right now about these pens and how to get them uh, prepped and everything. So I thought we could do a pen that matches. Um, and so I'm going to use this thinner one for that to do the rainbow. So anyways, um, I have the colors here are uh, rainbow ice and I thought it was appropriate because that we're doing a rainbow. So it has definitely has um, all the colors, you know, it, it's rainbow ice. So it has a lot of uh, holographic type colors, but I did not use holographic in these because I'm going to have this holographic and this is holographic. So I wanted the rainbow to kind of just be flat. Um, and I thought these were the best colors. So I just went with, um, the metallics. So the, what I did here was, um, I, I didn't want to have to have like tons of colors on there. So I just went with four and I went with red. That's an obvious. And then this tiger is, um, I thought was a really nice orangey kind of yellowy color. So I thought it would go you know, next to the red. So we have America, which I absolutely love. It's just like a flat matte. I mean, not a matte, a uh, metallic, uh, red. And then I have tiger and that is a fine metallic. And then we have evergreen, which is a gorgeous green. Um, and then I, you, I'm going to use Gaga. Now Gaga is, um, I thought a really beautiful mix of 
you know, blue to kind of purple. So I thought it would kind of go that way we could get away with just four colors and we wouldn't have to do like a whole bunch Roy G Biv kind of thing, you know? So, um, that, those are the colors. Um, that's what we're going to do. That's the, the idea. Um, I'm going to glitter this. I'm just going to do the bottom part just ever so slightly up into the screen a little bit. I'm not going to do much more. I'm not going to do a fade or anything like that. Then I'm going to bring this white uh, rainbow ice in here and that's going to be like our sky um, and then we're going to do a coat of epoxy maybe two coats just depends on um, the smoothness we get we don't really need it to be smooth down here but we need it to be smooth here so we can put our double-sided tape and do our uh, rainbow so that's the theme uh, that's what we're going to do so the rest of it will be kind of like hodgepodge fast slow talk that kind of thing like I normally do so I hope you enjoy it. since that is what is in the mix and I'm going to kind of fill in here to make it more green but I wanted those pops of gold you know in there uh, like if it was gold in the grass and that kind of thing at the end of the rainbow so that's kind of the theme there so I just wanted to take a moment and I did not do like a full full coverage because I wanted to come back in with this and kind of fill in where you see some of that green and really make it more of kind of a green mix so but you see that gold and um, I think it's fine I have a little bit of gold here may add a little bit more um, I'll just kind of see how it looks after so I just want to take a moment <laughs> where I dropped I was knocking the uh, glitter off and um, all of this was green all of the was on here got on here so <laughs> I took my glove and I slowly pushed it down into this here so I have a little bit of a mark here <clears throat> but what I'm gonna do is that's where I'm gonna put my rainbow is right in there no harm no foul um, but this is the rainbow ice. It's so gorgeous. It really gives, I think it's going to really reflect all those kind of colors whenever we get the rainbow on there. So I'm really excited. And I love the deepness of this with those gold, um, you know, the gold kind of flaking, you know, shining through. So I'm excited. It's uh, coming out what I had in my mind. Um, so we will continue with our coat of epoxy maybe two just depends on um, what a good seal we get on this but when the next step <clears throat> i'm going to do is polycrylic so i'm going to polycrylic this and then i'll clean my brush and then i'll polycrylic this so that we can keep this not going into here and it'll be uh, perfect and then we'll do the then we'll do the epoxy so that's my next two steps and then we'll be back to do the rainbow oh yeah and i forgot the pen i'm gonna do the pen push this up like this okay and then um I'm gonna do just a little bit of lucky because um 
I don't want too much of that chunky, but uh, I'm going to do just a little bit of it and then we'll do, we'll fill it in mostly with money and then the rainbow ice. <laughs> one coat of epoxy on here and it's pretty smooth um it's a little rough on the bottom and on the edges but that's okay because all we want to do is put our um our double-sided tape on here and do our rainbow colors which we have here so all i'm going to do is i want to do it right in this spot right here where i kind of messed up so i am going to sand there's one kind of like a little air bubble right here so i'm going to sand this just a little bit you can do that no problem it's not going to show once we stick the tape on here and we put the glitter on so um that's not a problem i'm going to sand this up clean it with alcohol and then um, we will get started on putting our double-sided tape and doing our glitter i have my double-sided tape um, I'll have it listed below for the um, eight, I think it's eight, eight in a pack. So um, I am going to start in this right here, this area right here, because um, I kind of had a little accident. So I am going to put this on here and I'm going to do it at an angle, okay? And then we're going to take our craft knife and cut it right at the top here. Now, um, I'm going to leave just a tiny bit of a space here because when we get done, we are going to file this down anyway. So I don't need it to go all the way over like that. Okay. So let's do our the next color. I mean, we're not going to do the color just yet, but we're going to get this right in here. And we're going to add a little bit of that lucky at the bottom right here, the rainbow, just to kind of cover that up. So don't worry about getting it exactly right, okay? And on the edge here, like I said, we're going to file that down. So no worries there, okay? So we're just going to keep going with putting this right on the edge here. I'm trying to see without... I have a tendency to get my hair in the video and I hate that for y'all <laughs> because my hair is short and it's like spiky and so it looks crazy in the video but not so crazy in person so anyways okay one last sticker one last piece there we go all right, and cut this last piece. All right, now we have our four color rainbow. Okay, and then right here, we're gonna put our decal that says never stop chasing rainbows. Okay, so I'm just pushing these down to make sure that they are on there good. Okay. Now, um, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna go with that the um, the rainbow is going like this, right? So the red is gonna be here, and the yellow, the green, and the blue, purple, right? Because I think that's the best way. I think that's the look that the rainbow would be curving, right? So that's the outside. Okay, I am going to start stripping these and putting the colors on and um, I'll put y'all in time lapse and then we will see what it looks like in the end.
Okay, so I put a coat of epoxy on this and I let the epoxy get kind of thick first and um, I have been letting it spin for probably about 15 minutes, maybe even more than that actually. Um, but what I want to do is I want to put the gold right here at the bottom like at the bottom of the rainbow we've got some gold um but what i did was i took lucky now if you happen to have 24 karat it just by itself then i would use that but if you don't and you just happen to buy lucky i actually sifted out um part of the money green that's in there and it left me with some of the gold pieces now so that is what i'm going to use to drop right here at the bottom of the rainbow so that's just a little quick tip i got this at the dollar tree um and i used one of these um that come in your um you know gain or whatever <laughs> so i don't use these i have a little drawer um, that i just pull out and dump my uh, laundry detergent and everything in there so these i use in my craft room and these are great for um when you mess up or if you want to sift a particular color out so i have my little 24 karat gold here and i am just going to probably stop this just for a second so I can drop my gold okay and I just want to cover up those lines now what I'm doing here also is um, what I don't want it to move that's why I'm doing my that's why I waited so long before um, I actually did this step because the the gold down in here doesn't really matter on the back but I just don't want it like this piece that decided to hop <laughs> all the way up here I'm just gonna say no sir no sir we're just gonna move you down come on okay get you down here thank you okay now just a little bit more right down here and I will just fade it kind of into the green down at the bottom there okay I don't mind if a little bit gets up here just a tiny bit but not much okay okay and that's what we're gonna do now I'm gonna set that to spin but I am gonna watch it uh, probably for a good 45 minutes um, I'll come back and check it and make sure that I haven't lost too much going up or down so I want it to stay in that area right there and I think that's good that's so cute I didn't want to do a literal pot of gold but I thought gold in the grass and gold at the bottom of the rainbow would be super cute so that's that that's that step the next step will be another coat and then the um saying also what I did on this um, rainbow what I want to make sure that you know is that I did spray seal it with a semi-gloss matte clear or semi-gloss clear spray um, I just did one coat because the, the double-sided tape really makes those thing the glitter stick but um, I think that one coat was perfectly fine I, I didn't really see much movement or anything so um, just spray make sure you spray seal that Okay, anyways, on to the okay, next I've step. cut the saying out here. I'm just going to peel it up and get it weeded out. This is something I designed myself, and I will be adding it to 
the Glitter Ranch group so you can have it. It will be available in the post that I make about this video. So you can have this. So I just designed this in Cricut Design Space. Come on, get off of there. No! I tell you, sometimes these little things. I thought it had kind of a whimsical feel to it. Oh, I lost my little dot in my eye. I'm going to find that. I'm going to have to get a little closer for that. So I might have to do that off camera because I'm going to need to... These old eyes need to get a little closer so I can figure out where... So, anyways, let me get, show you how I find my little eye here. Let's see. Can I get it? It's right in there, yeah. <clears throat> this is what I call surgery. If I can manage to get it out. So. I don't know if y'all can see that. But I found it! So. <laughs> there we go. That's what I call surgery. Anyways, I'm going to fix this little piece and then we will put it on our cup and go on for the next. let me start this without doing my edging here um, this is the tool that I have here it's a uh, hyper tough it's Dremel um, is the brand I bought these off of Amazon all of this will be linked down below so um, this is a life changer for me life changer I um, I have tendonitis um, I've had it. Uh, my mom has arthritis, so I know that I'm going to have some problems in the future. So I, this was huge for me when I was sanding and stuff, my hands would get so cramped. So this is such, this is just a lifesaver. Um, you want to be very careful because you can have some little mishaps like that little piece of the yellow right there. So you just want to go slow and steady, slow and steady. Um, just like I showed in the video, you know, um, it probably takes me just as much time to do this as at the sanding, maybe a little less, but it's the, it's just the using of my hands. It just, I have a hard time with that. So this is a lifesaver and I think you get a little bit of a cleaner looking edge to it. So unless you have a mishap, but other than that, I think it's perfectly fine. There's nothing too wrong. Anyways, we're going to clean. I'm going to, I'm going to wash this with, um, Dawn dish soap, clean it with alcohol, and then we will apply our saying. Also, I use a face shield when I do this. I did it uh, one or two times without something to cover my face and I got things like flu, you know, flu in my face and um, kind of stung because it was like a piece, you know, a thicker piece of epoxy and kind of flew off. So you definitely want to use this. Um, if anything, 
eye shield eyeglasses but these um, I'll link below I got like a pack of 10 for like 15 bucks so you can I gave some to my mom so she could wear them when she goes out places <laughs> so um, you could wear them instead of a mask or you can just use it for your filing okay I have washed it now I'm going to spray it with the alcohol Clean it off, top to bottom. Get my cup ready here. So um, I bought this a long time ago, um, and I loved the rainbow aspect of it because it's it can be black, it can kind of be brown, it can be gray, you know, whatever you need it to be. So, and in, in once you cut it, you know, you can't really tell the color other than it will look black on here, but it will also have that rainbow holographic effect. So I use, I have like lots of this stuff because I use it all the time for all kinds of stuff. Um, so I will definitely link that below. And I always forget my scraper when I'm doing this. I don't know why, but I'm I get the the like Wizard of Oz feel about this, but I don't know why. I think it's just the rainbow aspect of it or something. <laughs> but it feels like Wizard of Oz. Esque. Okay, I'm going to stand up here above y'all and see if I can get this straight without knocking the camera. And there we go. Let's rub it on. Okay, we're going to have to get that off. That's from another cup I did. Oh, don't do that. You know, this transfer tape seems to work when you don't need it to work. And not work when you need it to work. So, there it is. So, when I put the gold on there, I put another coat to cover up the gold because it was it was just laying on top of that epoxy layer that we did. So, I put another coat and then I'm going to put this on and then I will put my logo on the bottom like I normally do and I will do a coat of Mod Podge up until about right here. Um, leave a little bit exposed for the epoxy to adhere and then we will be done. And you will see the finished product. I hope that this um, is something fun that you can do um, for St. Patrick's Day or for somebody that loves rainbows or somebody that needs encouragement because you never stop chasing rainbows. And look at that gold. It's so pretty. Anyways, I will stop talking, but <laughs> I can do that all day. So this is that. This is it. We are done. I'm going to put, like I said, sticker, coat of Mod Podge up to about right here. And then a final coat of epoxy. And we will have our cute themed cup. Everything will be linked below. And I hope to see, if you recreate this, I hope to see it in the Glitter Ranch group. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thanks.